Hello again, everyone. I have been sick for the past, like, two weeks, so I haven't made a tutorial. So, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, let's get to it. It is a tutorial on the Car Colors Editor. And I'm using a, hopefully, better microphone today. So, yeah. I shouldn't sound so bad. So, we're going to be using the car colors editor. Let's put it in full screen. Probably didn't need to do that. Anyway, this is just going to be quite a brief tutorial to show you what it does. So this is a, um, the tab in this tab. This is what allows you to edit existing colors and create new ones. So you can see just by double clicking, you can load up a color but we're going to create a new one just for the purpose of this tutorial. <clears throat> so to create a new color, all we got to do is change the name to one that doesn't already exist in the list. If you change it to one that does already exist in the list, it will just go ahead and overwrite it. So if I change it back to 139 light pink and I change this slider around and click the save changes button to save it back into the list, then it will overwrite. But we don't want to do that. So, I don't know what I'll do. Maybe cyan, kind of. Kind of a light green. Yeah, right. A light green. And we can change these. This is the police radio. So when you're in trouble by the cops and they describe your vehicle over the radio this is what they will say they'll say like light green driving a light green sports car or yeah whatever and then to save it click save changes new and that only saves it to this list here that only updates this list if you actually want to save the changes back into the file you click this and then you're done <clears throat> and modifying the color, you can also do it this way. So change that to nothing, and now it's pink. You can see that's updated. And change it back to 140. And yeah, so you'll notice by if we have the name set to one that already exists in the list, it will go ahead and replace it and overwrite it. All right should know enough about that now we we'll go over to this one the car colors editor the one that allows you to edit the color sets on each car that it spawns in so we will just choose like I don't know any car probably the admiral now you'll notice this, this is a three color car so you'll see that has three colors. <clears throat> this is each color that the car will spawn in. So, like if, <clears throat> so we got the body color, the second body color, and the first extra color. <clears throat> and usually, uh, um, the second color that you see on a car, like when you see a red car and it has like a yellow tint or something. That's usually the this color. Sometimes it's this one. Really depends. Especially for mods. But well, anyway, we'll change one. So it's simple as just double clicking on it, and you can change it using this list to any one you want. So I'll just go fluorescent yellow. And then you can check them by going here, so you can see which color is which, and then reset, and then save. That updates. This may not be the easiest way of doing it, which is why I've gone ahead and made it easier. To change the colors on on a car you've selected. <coughs> All you have to do is select this, and you can go over here. 
He said the first car, poly color to that. What was said second to taxi color and maybe electric green. And there you go. So you can use that as well. That makes it easier. Now to add a column, click add and it automatically just adds one and <clears throat> you can see that it's unmodified because there's no icon and it's new so it's going to we'll change it to something I don't know what that's a pretty bad color and there you go there's a new color and if you don't like it you can remove it that seems pretty simple and um, <coughs> for when you do mod cars, when you mod some cars, the um, car models sometimes support four colors, and usually the fourth color is mapped to the mags or the rims of the car. And as a result, if you mod that car over an existing car that only supports three colors the rims will always spawn as black which is quite kind of ugly and you can't really and you can't change it a way to um, make sure like find out if this is happening is if you have the native trailer installed and you go into the car colors editor and then you can like change the fourth color and if the four and if you change the fourth color and it actually modifies the color of one of the colors of the car then you know that the, the car mod that you've just installed actually supports four colors and therefore you can go and change it to four colors and you must click change before you do anything here and then boom there we go now we have four colors and it automatically sets the um, last color each of these color sets to just black or zero the first color on the list but you can go ahead and now change each of these and if you want to change it back to three colors then that's simple simple as that there you go it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it, and you can see I have the Futo here, and I've gone ahead and modified pretty much all of the colors to a nice set of colors, which you will probably see in the start of the video. And the Futo is the Nissan Skyline R33 in my game. So yeah, you'll see it in the intro. Anyway. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have learnt a bit more how to use my little program and are now able to easily edit the car colours. I know there are other people's programs out there which do the same kind of thing but I decided that if I'm going to make the IV modding program might as well include it. It actually did take a bit of work to create it but anyway. I'll end this tutorial right here.